Happy New Year everyone, it's 2017 and we're on holidays. We've come away to a place called Flaxton, which is in the Sunshine Coast Tenderland, just outside Montville, and it is fabulous. It is just, oh, it's so beautiful here where we're staying. It's this gorgeous cabin and it overlooks rainforest and oh, the fresh air and you can hear the little birds tweeting, including ours, who've come with us. So we've got the whole family here, uh, a little family holiday at the beginning of the year. Um, which is exactly what we needed. We've just had the craziest, busiest 2016 and 2017 is probably going to be just as crazy with a new baby on the way in ooh, 11 weeks time, 12 weeks time. Um, so yeah, this is our kind of baby moon, I suppose. But anyway, whatever it is, I'm loving it already. And I don't know my left side from my right I'll never be the one to guide you home And don't ever ask me for directions I'll send you straight to Egypt maybe I don't know how, I don't know how I ever got here I must have stuck out, I must have gone out on my own Don't ever look for me to lead you I'll end you up in Egypt, maybe Get up and keep going Celebrate this life you've been holding Demonstrate your love and devotion And everybody get up and get up I found the best album for a vegan <laughs> Demonstrate the skills you've been using And everybody get up and get up Some say it's just another day but I ask what is it? A chance to wake up and truly make a difference? Push by the hands of time along with persistence To break this mold that holds laziness in it So this snooze button is for those with excuses And who's frontin'? Those who choose useless attempts to get by With no work or sweat of the brow Just stuck in a rut not trying to get out Just a deep breath that's never refreshed And a pair of closed eyes when quiet is kept Cause we slept for too long on the road of opportunity To be the person that we can truly be It's a beautiful thing It's, uh, it's, where, you're, it's where you want to be right there You want to be, be that guy so we just had a successful run into Mulaney, just had a little look around and um, yeah, went into the IGA there, which is like a little supermarket, but a bit of a story behind that, yeah, all the locals kicked up a stink when the big mob called, um, was it Woolworths or Coles? Woolworths. Woolworths tried to come in and yeah, they were like sitting in trees, weren't they, and doing all sorts of protests, protests yeah. all sorts of stuff like that. Ended up, yeah, Woolies went in and built one anyway but um, none of the locals went and used it. But um, yeah, so we went in there and it was pretty nice actually, wasn't it? Yeah, it was um, our hosts of our place were saying, that was like one of the first things they told us about was this IGA. So it was uh, and, a must see. And look what I got, liquid smoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's not zooming, which was um, a pretty big find. Um, Yes, it's going to be quite handy on some of our meals. So, yeah, yep. more vegan creations. Everybody get up and get up.
miserable here. It is foggy and rainy and wet, but we've decided to um, brave it and go to Umundi Markets this morning. Yeah, when we were leaving the house, the rain was practically coming down sideways, and I was like, Darren, are we wise? Are we wise going to this market this morning? Maybe we should stay here. And he's like, no, nah, fuck it. So here we are. Yamundi Markets. Um, it's the middle of summer in Australia and I just want to have like a pair of tracking jacks on right now and be watching some movies and stuff. Um, normally I would be expecting we'd be going perhaps to the beach or one of the rock pools or waterfalls around here and have a swim but yeah this, this weather is just not, not right for that sort of thing. Luckily we are probably in the right uh, part of Australia for this right at the moment. We're up in the mountains in Mombol, it's, it's actually quite nice up here. It's quite beautiful. Uh, but anyway, the markets are pretty cool. Yeah, Claire got a Claire got a nice little outfit for uh, for the bubs, and we got a few other bits and pieces. So yeah, it was pleasant, but it was just way way too busy. Um, there was just so many cars, so many people everywhere. So it's kind of cool to get out of there. And um, as I say, yeah, now we're probably just going to chill and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. looking at everything it um, but also just reminds me of when we were in Germany on our trip and it's just a nice nostalgic um, yeah walk down memory lane love it
Morning guys, so yeah, we um, we finally got out of bed uh, this morning and it was, was raining when we woke up. We didn't do much, we just, yeah, chill, we just nerded out at home. I'm so happy it's raining this week. It just makes you feel less guilty about getting out and doing stuff. You can just totally chill mm, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just chilling and researching uh, on the free Wi-Fi, researching um, camera lenses and all sorts of nerdy mm. stuff like that to make these vlogs hopefully a little bit better, a little bit more bearable to watch. Um, but yeah, while we were doing that, I just sort of reflected, I sort of thought to myself, you know, what, what is the purpose of all this? Why, why are we even doing this? Like, it's a lot of kit to carry around. A lot of time and effort. It's a lot energy. of money. Yeah, it's all that. Um, yeah. But what's what's the deeper meaning? Is it is it a is it a vanity thing? Is it something we're just doing because we think we're awesome, or uh, you know, trying to put ourselves out there? Um, but I think it's probably a little more than that. It, it kind of started back. Um, yeah, it's funny, we started out with using iPhones and selfie sticks and we've come a long way from that. Our kids growing so much, but um, we started out because I, I watched a lot of just YouTube YouTubers and a lot of them vlog. Because you watch these people and you, you see into their lives and you feel a part of their lives. And, and I thought it'd be nice for, you know, for us to create a video of our life like that so that my family back home could, could get an understanding of my life in Australia and we could still have that kind of connection yeah but then it kind of evolved into i guess we just wanted better and better stuff because we know we've got uh, our little bubs coming soon and we're sort of in the process of getting better and better at this and making cooler vlogs and yeah that's what we want we want that to sort of document um this journey through mm. through birth and through um the child growing up 
I'm not gonna have my family here, unfortunately, when, when this little one is growing up. So to have something that will show them her life, um, her hopefully her first steps and her laughing and her going to bed or whatever it may be, um, just so they can see her life and still have that connection with her um, is really important to me. Because um, obviously they're not gonna be here. Oh, she just kicked me. <laughs> she likes it too. <laughs> and also we've kind of found that um, just from walking around and stuff, you sort of notice things in a different way. You look at things differently and uh, yeah. you pick up little things and you take a moment and you stop and you get some footage of it or, yeah. or whatever, whereas normally you just sort of charge past it and just, oh, you went, oh that's nice, and just keep going. So um, yeah, stopping it, and smelling the roses. Yeah, because you probably think, oh, well, what we're looking at life through a camera lens, but actually, no, you do see the world in a totally different way. You are looking for those little shots and those little things and you still enjoy it but it's just in a very different way and it's become what started out is just like little videos for my family has become a real kind of hobby and passion for us we absolutely love it and it's creating these it's capturing these memories that we are going to have for the rest of our life that we can show this one when she's older and that's you know it's it's amazing it's so much it's better cool. than a photograph for me for mm. us um it's worth the effort so basically if you don't like it don't watch it but yeah we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep making them anyway <laughs>